So guys, I'm back with a new video. This is a how to get to recovery mode for anyone with custom firmware. If you're having problems with the normal recovery mode way, you know, uh, powering down and then powering back on, holding R. If that's not working for you, you can use alternative VSH menu. Just throw that on your PSP, hit reboot, hold R, that'll work. Or the next option I have is the ultimate VSH menu, which has the recovery menu option on it. Go straight there. So you can throw that on your PSP and do it that way. If you're having problems getting onto your recovery menu before you can even add anything, my other option that I found is just power off. I have no nothing attached to it, just the battery. Take your battery out. Get your AC adapter, or what mine is, is mine's a USB, the power adapter. Plug it in, hold R, and power on. And it brings you to the recovery mode. So from that, just throw your battery back in. And you're good to go. I don't suggest doing it on low battery because I nothing's good running out of battery when when you're in the middle of something. So there's a few options for you to get into recovery menu. Hopefully it helps anybody, somebody out there. I was very grateful when I figured it out because I hard modded my first battery and had to hard mod it back, which ended up being pretty simple because I didn't take any pins out. I left it there. I just broke it and then attached it, well, kind of bent it back so it was able to continue working. Now that I have it all and all together with custom firmware and I have VSH menus, I can just Pandorize it without having to hard mod it anymore. And I have an extra battery, so who cares, hey? But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this video helps someone out there. And hopefully you're subscribing to my channel because I'm coming with videos quite often, as I've said before. And as more stuff comes out, I will add more on. Thanks for watching.